Here in the first week of December, George Mason about to embark on back-to-back -back home games for the first time all year with the Retrievers of UMBC here in Fairfax. But University of Maryland College Park team, you got to come back on Tuesday and play a team that's only won two games. You have to be ready to play. Let's see Mason's intensity level today. Oh, right ready, attacking right away. And so is Ross and so is, is Plummer. Bonale Ogoloji hanging, kicks it out right for three. Cook in the lane. Well off. Edwards pulls it down, tries to lead the break. Okoloji, the reverse, copes the rebound. Great hustle by Coach on that play. Two possession game for the majority of the afternoon. Right. Picks a pocket, dunks in two. The bench to the score table. He'll be in at the next timeout. Okoloji, double team, kick out, right, left open. That's a mistake, especially when he's feeling it, and he is. Ten points already for Sherrod Wright. And, and when you have a player like that, like Okoloji, that can hustle like that to make plays like that. Roseboro wants it, taken away. Good great, read by Arledge. Great help by Arledge on that play. And, and Morgan was looking for Roseboro, who's probably the person that's going to have to look to score now with those two guys on the bench. Sherrod Wright, another triple and another timeout for the Retriever. You're not going to be able to keep him off the offensive boards, and you're not going to be able to prevent him from going to the basket, too. And he's a good passer, as he showed right there. For the Retrievers. Wright open for three. Missed badly. Copes the offensive board and the putback. Yeah. Violet him when he ended up taking that shot. So great team defense by George Mason on that play. Cokes pass through the hands of Williams. Ended up right in the lap of a teammate. And right able to lay it in plus one. Garner setting up Roseboro, who dumps in two more. Back to a seven point game. Cokes gets it back. That was a great example of the post cut right there. The ball was fed to Cokes, and Cokes immediately looked for the opposite post man. Great defense by Sherrod right there, and they picked up. Four quick points, and now they're up by 11. Put that ball in right off the backboard. Nice offense by UMBC, that possession. No cook, foul trouble, scoreless in the first half. Now seven here already after the intermission. Right, swinging down the baseline and throws it down. And I think if we watch that play again, Roseboro probably underneath the basket, too, too close to the circle right now, and that's why it was called for the foul. For Cook, rebound. Trying to lead for Plummer, but Holloway picked it off. The lob. Tipped away. Arledge able to get it back and one. Ogoloji. Another post pass. That time the setup for Copes. Put them in a hole early when they picked up those quick uh, two fouls. My question for you earlier was going to be, Paul, you had talked about Difficult shot selection for his team is Gianni Cic. Copes calling for it. Patriots able to get it in. Gianni Cic for three. George Mason back in the win comp. Sixth victory in nine tries this year. 74-63 the final against UMBC. 23 for Sherrod Wright, Paul Hewitt and company. Moving on, ready to host Northern Iowa here at the Patriots Center this weekend.